Hello and welcome to the bar. As autumn draws nearer, I think it's time for another new era drink. The Berryful Bramble. I'll just whip one up for you. Take your cocktail shaker and add a double of gin. Then add a half measure of lemon juice. And one centiliter of sugar syrup. Shake well. and pour into an old-fashioned glass over crushed ice. Swirl a half measure of creme de mure, that's a blackberry liqueur, into the top of the drink. Garnish with blackberries and a slice of lemon. Cheers. Now how are you finding that? It's like a traditional gin sour but with a hint of berry. Autumnal. And it goes a pleasing, rich red colour. Gin has often been considered a quintessentially British spirit and is regularly associated with London. It is no surprise, then, that the gin-based bramble was invented here by Dick Bradsell in 1984 at Fred's Club, Soho. He had initially set out to make a truly British drink after tasting a creme de mure that helped him reminisce about his childhood on the Isle of Wight. Due to lack of British creme de mure, he felt he had failed to make it truly British. The wild success of the cocktail since then should probably put his mind at ease. Personally, I feel the use of gin, the blackberry flavour, and the name make it British enough for me. One of the benefits of this being a relatively recent invention is that the creator is still alive and has been interviewed on the creation of this fruity yet sour beverage. The use of crushed ice which is how one should be made, is due to the proximity of Fred's Club to a restaurant. They had a crushed ice machine for their fish displays, and so that was what he used. Dick notes that it also helps lengthen the drink and stop the liqueur from being too sickly. He also thinks the success of the cocktail is down to its simplicity. The drink is essentially a standard gin sour with the addition of blackberry liqueur. In a pinch, you can even swap it out with something like Robina, to approximate the desired flavour. Other popular drinks made in a similar way include the Singapore Sling, the Margarita, and the Daiquiri. Initially, the cocktail was topped with a raspberry, because he didn't have any blackberries. They are much easier to source nowadays, though, and are commonly used. That being said, some bars make their brambles using a mixture of raspberry and blackberry liqueur, topping them appropriately with both fruits. Mmm... The taste of blackberries really does remind me of my childhood. Time to reminisce, I think. Oh, are you leaving? Well, don't let me keep you. See you next time, and remember, always drink responsibly. Dr. Wilker's Campaign for Better Beverages is a production of Tinker Taylor Soldier Sponge Productions. It was research written and produced by Dr. Wilco. The cocktail was mixed and drunk by Dr. Wilco. The music was George Street Shuffle, licensed under Creative Commons by Attribution 3 by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com. You can support this podcast on Patreon via the show notes and the website, drwilko.org forward slash Patreon.